Hey everyone, it's Laura London. We are going live today and uh, we're going to be talking about three weight loss mistakes you might be making. I have with me a special guest today. Her name is Nancy from workoutwithnancy.com. Hi Nancy. Hi everyone. How you doing? Glad to be here. Yeah, we're super excited. We tried this Facebook Live already and wound up with one of us on the screen and one of us <laughs> off the screen. So that's why we're so, we're close, so close together. <laughs> so we're excited that you guys are starting to join in. Again, we're gonna be talking about the three weight loss mistakes you may be making. So we're gonna start with the first one. And the first one is not eating enough. Nancy, don't you think that's a huge topic? Yes, I agree. Not eating enough is uh, it's a big mistake that a lot of us make. Um, I know for me, when I don't eat enough, um, I tend to, at the end of the day, go and crave like the sugary stuff, um, or I'll go for something quick like a carb, and those tend to end up leading extra pounds on, on me. Oh, for sure. And I have, you know, so many people, I think they think they're eating enough, and then they're not. They're like trying to... Um, you know, they think they're going to lose weight if they cut back on calories. But what really happens is you're eating less carbohydrates and your body holds on to three ounces of water for every ounce of carbohydrate that you eat. So, of course, when you start to cut back, you're going to be losing water weight at first. And it's really like a fake kind of... Right. Right, it kind of it's kind of misleading. Like you think you're losing weight, but you're really not. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, a great way. There are a lot of weight loss calculators online where you can figure out your your BMI and your BMR, and I'll explain those in another video to make sure you're eating enough throughout the day. You want to make sure that you're eating not below what you should be eating otherwise your body's not going to function properly right right our bodies are actually meant to store that's why just for survival mode um you're meant to store body fat which is what it's for um so you want to make sure that you're hitting those caloric numbers um daily so that your body doesn't go into to starvation mode yeah. and then basically fat storage right you're gonna have the opposite effects people are yeah. here i have caitlin hi caitlin hi caitlin Hi, preparation is key, that's right. All right, so another thing that I find, I think maybe more women do this than men, Nancy, but they save their calories for later in the day. Like, they, they won't eat all day long or they'll have a tiny, tiny breakfast because maybe they're going out on a Friday night, right, Hi. and they wanna eat. Do you right. find that? Right, yeah, if you're um, really busy, which um, I'm a mom, so I have a 13 year old son, and um, I know that um, sometimes I've been, um, you know, going about my day and I actually forget to eat um, because I have so many things, so many errands to run or baseball practice or whatever. Um, so if, if I save those calories for later, I find that I end up eating more um, of, of bad food, um, quick food, junk food. Yeah, because you get um, And then so I don't hungry. hit my number. I don't yeah. hit my number, my goal. You, you wait all day long and then, you know what, the body just, the body is smart. Oh, you know, I never turned the light on. Um, the body's <laughs> smart and it will just be like, oh no, I'm not gonna put up with this. Let's eat, eat, eat to make up for, for what you didn't eat. So some of the ways that we can avoid that, we keep getting up messages here hi paola how are you hi. from atlanta <laughs> um is to be prepared i personally like to prepare i don't i don't prepare my food for the whole week but what i do is i make salad i make rice in my rice cooker i grill some vegetables uh, did i say i make a soup i make yeah. a soup so i have all these things on hand so I can just kind of grab and go during the week. What mm -hmm. do you think, Nance? Um, I actually, I'm a little bit, um, a little bit, I do it a little bit different. I actually um, make like my meals on Sunday. I kind of make my, my um, chicken and my turkey and stuff like that. The fish I usually will cook per day. Um, and then I tend to grab that um, during the week and then I'll add 
my veggies, fresh veggies, um, my carbs I'll add, you know, for a little bit I'll add my oatmeal and whatnot. Um, but I tend to kind of know what's coming down for the week. That way I'm just not grabbing up by the spur of the right. moment. Right. So I'll, I'll freeze a lot of that stuff and then just grab it and take it with me to go. Yeah, freezer is great. You can freeze so many things. Hi, Annie. How are you? Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Annie. So we're talking today. This is my friend Nancy from WorkoutWithNancy.com. Nancy is also a trainer at my gym, and we've been friends for a long time. And I thought, gee, it's time for me to start <laughs> bringing on some guests and sharing these amazing people with you guys. It's good oh. to be here, guys. <laughs> All right, so today we're talking about three weight loss mistakes that you might be making. So the first one was not, not eating, eating enough. enough, just eating too little, putting your body in starvation mode. The second one was saving your calories for later. That does not work. It backfires. Mm -hmm. You need to eat consistently right. like a furnace almost like if you were feeding a fire fueling a fire you want to just add a little bit at a time through yeah throughout the mm -hmm. day i think absolutely if, if that's one thing that people can walk away with today it is so important is never to let yourself get too hungry no. No. That just sets you up for failure. Absolutely. So, and that's really number three was not was not eating consistently throughout the day, which we talked right. about. And you can be prepared by preparing your foods on Sunday mm -hmm. or preparing a few days in advance. What do you guys do to keep yourself on track with healthy eating? What ratio of macros do you recommend? You know what? That's a great question, and that I think itself is a whole other discussion yeah. for right now. I think that's a, oops, a great okay. question, but I, I don't weigh my food. I don't really measure my food, but I've been doing this for so long that I can kind of eyeball what I need to be eating, but we both have really awesome programs that can help you with all those fine details with your macros. Absolutely, for sure. absolutely. Wow, let's see. All right, so another topic we were gonna talk about was emotional eating. How many of you are emotional eaters out there? Anybody? Yeah, raise your hand. I think yeah. everybody really stressed. Absolutely, absolutely. With the stress and the hectic of, you know, driving the kids around to um, just, you know, bills or life or relationships, um, a lot of times, um, I know I find that if I get stressed, um, I might go grab something sugary or for me, I like those uh, crazy little Starbucks frappuccinos, which are so bad for you. Like one of them is about 500 calories, which is a third of my day, <laughs> you know? Um, so I find that, that, uh, you know, I just have to be more, um, check in a little bit more so that I'm not grabbing those things when, when, um, you know, when things start getting really stressful. Yeah. And I think there's a big difference that people need to understand between emotional stress eating and really being hungry like stress eating it comes on really quick you know yeah. like like all of a sudden you're like oh i just need to calm these nerves or i don't feel good or it it it, it comes on really really quick and it's really to satisfy an emotion right whatever we're feeling right so maybe what we could do is uh maybe check in you know, check in with yourself and say, hey, you know, am I hungry? Am I reaching for this because I'm hungry? Am I reaching because I'm stressed? So sometimes if we can just maybe count to 10 and, um, you know, check in would probably be a good uh, place to start before we grab one of those bad things. It actually happened to me yesterday, Nancy. I was all stressed and I really wanted a glass of wine. I really did. And I decided to go ride my bike instead. And you know nice. what? I felt so much better. It, it just being outside yeah. and it kind of calmed me down. So you could go, you could take a walk, you could call a friend, you could mm -hmm. ride your bike. Yeah, you could absolutely. Go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> that's a really good one. That I like. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. What else? Do you guys have any questions for us today? We love just seeing you guys on, on here and answering any of your questions. That's a why? Yes. <laughs> Johnny. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Hi. Well, maybe it's a hi. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I know right now it is summertime and everybody's looking to get in shape. 
So how are you guys doing? If I only eat fruit for dinner is not enough. Generally, I don't like to eat a full meal. Wanna take that one, Nance? Sure, um, how I tackle around dinner time is, um, I don't like to eat a lot during during dinner also. I'm like more of a grazer at dinner. But what I like to, what I do is I usually, um, I'll make, make, whip up like an egg white omelet um, and add some veggies and then throw that with some fruit. That tends to make me feel full, um, but not heavy. And um, what's good is that throwing the fruit, then, that way you have your protein, you have a little bit of veggies, and then you have the fruit. It would be a great combination. Um, that's kind of like how I tackle uh, when I want to eat late, you know, eat dinner, but I don't want a heavy, heavy meal. I usually yeah. kind of do like a, an egg white omelet. Yeah, that's that's great because if you're just eating fruit at night, it's really going to spike up your insulin Absolutely. level, and then you're going to kind of come crashing down, and that's when you're going to find that you're storing more body fat when you're having this kind of up and down, up and down with your insulin. So and that's when you huge. add the protein to that that actually kind of get, gets it level. Yeah. So the, the, adding the protein to that fruit would be a good, um, a good thing to add mm -hmm. to keep sustain your uh, blood sugar levels. Let's see, for both of us to be in the screen, we had to be far away from the thing. Are we so, too far? <laughs> no, Caitlin, it only relieves the stress temporarily. Do you feel, you feel so down on yourself after you had a, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's so true. So you're, you're stressed out and you just want to eat this food because you want that immediate gratification to feel better. You're really lacking in the uh, hormone serotonin right there. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of going down into a little depression and that food, that sugar, the carbohydrates is gonna bring that serotonin level back up, but only for a little while. Right, right, and then, you, then you're gonna crash. And you're then gonna you're gonna crash, gonna crash and then you're gonna be upset because you ate those potato chips, chocolate yeah. cake, blah, 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 all that. You know how I tackle, um, when, I do, when I do eat something bad, um, how what I do is I tend to not beat myself up as much. I say to myself, okay, I ate a bad meal, but then I say, you know what, I, on the next moment from now, I can choose my next meal to be healthy. So sometimes if I kind of derail off my diet, um, I feel like the next moment I can choose to do better. Yes. So um, always know that don't, don't chalk up the whole day, just kind of say, okay, that last meal that I had, um, you know, you always have a chance to show up different the next meal. Yes. So don't, you know, don't derail from the whole, from your whole diet just because of one, one mistake. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge, Nancy. I, come here, guys. Come here really close. There's no wagon to mm -hmm. fall off of. Just like Nancy said, you don't wait till the next day because what happens tomorrow turns into the next day and turns right. into the next day right. and turns into a month from now and turns into 10, 20 pounds later and next year. Right. So you get right back Absolutely. on at the Absolutely. next meal. Right. You kiss yourself, you love yourself, mm -hmm. you're awesome, just keep going. Uh, you're so welcome, you're so welcome. It's so nice to see everyone. All right, we're gonna start to wrap this up. We just wanted to kind of pop on, talk about those those three tips for you guys today, three weight loss tips you might be making. <laughs> I'm not going out. <laughs> You're funny. The comments that come in. Thank you so much for the dinner invitation. Um, all right, everyone. You know you can come visit me at lauralondonfitness.com. You'll find Nancy at workoutwithnancy.com. And we hope you have a fit and fabulous day. We hope you've learned something from this video. And we'll see you again really, really soon. See you guys. Thanks for having me on. Oh, bye. Let's bye. See. Okay, everyone. Awesome. Have a great day. Bye-bye.